How do you hold a really complicated part like this? Well, traditionally you try and clamp it, which is pretty difficult because it's complicated. So we're going to show you how to use the fused polymorphic molding method. First, you create the mold geometry in CAD, as you can see here, and then we export that as an STL file and then import it into our fuse object surface mapper software. This basically tells the machine uh, all the pin heights that are needed. So then you uh, export this as an F code file and then you import it into our polymorphic molding machine and then bish bash bosh all the pins are reconfigured in minutes, infinitely reusable tooling. That's then finished and then look at this. Wow, lovely. Does it fit? Of course it fits. Now we've just created work holding in minutes for this very complicated part, little test fit. Does it fit? Yeah, of course it does. Solid. Now we're going to check the machine's flat. Is the part flat? Pretty much. Clamp it all up and now we're going to run our first CNC program, which is a facing pass. Now, as you can see, because the part is already really flat, we only need to take off like 0.1 of material. So just quickly doing that. And then we've created a program that's going to machine all the holes out. And um, we're running it at quite a pace here. Well, you know, we're not pulling any punches. Running it at a fairly high feed rate. Just to show you guys that the part is really clamped down and there's no vibrations. Just wait for this finish. And then we're going to show you the surface finish. Look at that. Smooth as a baby's bum. Just going to do a quick inspection here, measure the holes, check it's right. We're aiming for 8.5, look at like 8.47, 30 microns, give me that. 